In this tutorial, we'll use the assembly workbench to bring together a box and its lid into one functional design. This is the complete model, which has two bodies, one for the box and one for the lid. Let's first save this file as a new one, named box. Then delete the lid, because only the box should be inside this file. Save the file. Now, do the same the other way around. Go to the complete model again and save it as lid. Then delete the box, because only the lid should be inside this file. Save the file. Now open a new document in FreeCAD and select the assembly workbench. Click on the Create Assembly button in the toolbar. A new assembly will appear in the tree. Check if it is active by double-clicking it if necessary. Now click on the Insert Component button in the toolbar. Click on Open File and select both the box and the lid. The selected files with their bodies are visible here. The files used here only have bodies, not parts. So checking this box does not apply here. Uncheck it again to make the bodies visible. Rigid subassemblies does also not apply here because only static models are used. Click on the box body to insert it inside the assembly document. Then save the document to continue. Click Yes or Always to ground the first object, which is needed to use the assembly workbench. Now click on the lid to insert that part too. Both parts are inserted and can be assembled now. Click on OK to leave this menu. Hold the Alt key, then click and hold left mouse button on a part to move it around. It has no constraints, so it can move freely. Let's undo this. The box cannot be moved because it's grounded. You can see the lock icon inside the part. Expand Joints and click on Grounded Joint to locate it. Press Delete to delete the joint. Now you can also move the box. But you see most buttons are grayed out because there's no grounded object anymore. Let's undo twice to undo the move and get the grounded joint back. The assembly constraint buttons are now usable again. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. You can export 3D models directly to their website with this macro. Then select how it should be manufactured. And configure your project details. Finally, preview your 3D model. And submit your manufacturing request. Let's continue with the video. Rotate the model and zoom in on the hinges. Click the Revolute Joint button in the toolbar. And click both circles, the one on the box and the one on the lid. It looks like it did not work. Click Cancel to exit. Move the lid a bit away from the box. And click the Revolute Joint button again. Select this circle of the hinge on the lid. Then select the one of the hinge on the box. Click OK to apply. Hold the Alt key, and then click and hold left mouse button on the lid to move it around. Expand joints if necessary and click on Revolute to locate it. Click right mouse button and select Delete to delete the joint. The lid can be moved freely again. Now let's use the cylindrical joint. Select the circle of this hinge and then the other one here. Click OK to apply. The lid can be rotated around but also moved along that axis. Let's undo four times to get back to the Revolute joint. Click on the Revolute joint to locate it. 
Click on the eye icons to hide the joint icons. But the lid can still be moved the same way. Consider subscribing if you like my content. Thanks. Double click on the Revolute joint. And check the min angle and the max angle box. The angle value shows the current position. Uncheck the boxes and move the lid to see it changing. Check both boxes again. Set the min angle to 0 and the max angle to 90. You see the lid only moves between these angle values now. Here's what happens when you change one value to a negative one. Change the minimum angle back to 0 to define the right closing position for the lid. Increasing the maximum angle to a higher value will allow the lid to open further. Click OK to apply. Now you learn some of the basics of the assembly workbench in FreeCAD. You might want to check out my 3D printing channel for more tutorials and projects.